Greetings and salutations. I'm Madison and in today's video I will be sharing with you all of the antique, vintage, and retro items I have purchased over the past few months. This video is sponsored by the French perfume company Dossier. Dossier specializes in providing men and women with affordable, designer-inspired fragrances. That way everyone, no matter what their budget, can enjoy high-quality, wonderful-smelling fragrances. This month, Dossier sent me two fragrances to try out. The first is Floriental Ling Ling, and the second is Powdery Hawthorne. Floriental Ling Ling is inspired by Chanel's Gabrielle, and it features Lily, Grapefruit, Blackberry, Ling Ling, Tumorose, Jasmine, Musk, Orange Blossom, and Oris. This one I would say would be perfect for a more mature woman, or if you are looking for a good office fragrance, this has a wonderful professional feel about it. Powdery Hawthorne was inspired by Tom Ford's Metallique, and unfortunately I did not care for this fragrance. It did not agree with me straight from the bottle or on my skin. The wonderful thing about Dossier is that they want their customers to both enjoy and thoroughly test out their products. If you are not happy with your fragrance, Dossier offers a 30-day guarantee return policy. If you are interested in testing out Dossier, I do have a link to their website in the description box below, along with a discount code so you can save a little bit extra on their already affordable fragrances. The first few items are things that I purchased on my vacation to Jekyll Island. First, I purchased this t-shirt, which has multicolored guitars on it and the phrase, music is what color sounds like. Now, I am a musician, so anything musician related, obviously, will catch my attention. This was a men's shirt, which actually happens a lot. I tend to purchase a lot of men's shirts because they are usually better made they usually fit better, and they usually have better designs than a lot of t-shirts in the women's section. At least, in my opinion, I very rarely find a woman's t-shirt that I can relate to or that I like the design on it. This t-shirt was from the brand Life is Good. Since Jekyll Island is a very sunny place, many stores were selling a wide variety of sun hats. The first one I purchased was a beautiful sea glass blue color, and the second one is a striped multicolored sun hat. I actually did a little bit of modification to these. You're supposed to wear them with the brim up like this, and sometimes that looks nice. However, what I like to do is fold the brim down and that gives the hat a totally different look. Up next are the items that I purchased from the website Etsy. Most of my clothing and accessories come from Etsy. I love being able to support small businesses and I will be leaving a link to all of the shops that I purchased from in the description box below. The first thing I purchased was this red and black belt from the 1940s. Lately I have been working to collect more vintage belts because they very much make an outfit look older than it actually is. You can take an outfit comprised of entirely modern pieces, put a vintage belt on it and add a vintage handbag, and it will completely transform the outfit. Another thing I found to be lacking in my wardrobe was a simple, plain black dress, which is kind of odd because Black is my favorite color, and it is the color I wear the most. So I did a little bit of searching on Etsy and found this short sleeve black dress from the 1980s. 
This dress is made of rayon and it is from the brand Lady Carol. The next item I purchased was this navy blue, red, and white dress. If this dress looks familiar, I did feature this in my spring and summer lookbook. If you have not seen that video, then I will leave another card linked at the top of this video for you to watch as well. Now this dress did not always look like this. I did take it to an alterationist because firstly the hem was way too long and this dress had longer sleeves which I thought was an odd idea for a summer outfit to have long bulky sleeves. They weighed down the garment and they made me look a lot heavier than I really am. So I went to an alterationist and they fixed up this dress for me. The last piece of clothing I purchased was this beautiful black velvet jacket with cord detailing. This jacket is a new favorite in my wardrobe. I am a big fan of cord detailed items like handbags. I have a dress with cord detailing. They're just a fantastic bit of craftsmanship and work that makes you feel like you're wearing art on your clothing. Cord detail was very popular in the 1930s and 40s, and it made a bit of a resurgence and revival in the 1980s. Moving on to accessories, I purchased this absolutely fabulous 1980s handbag. I had this bag in my wish list for the longest time and I kept coming back to it and going oh I don't know if I can spend that much on a handbag finally I saw it again and I was able to haggle the price down a little bit and purchase this dream of a handbag and it's one of my favorite handbags now and I'm so thrilled to finally have it Next in our accessories category, I purchased a bunch of nautical inspired jewelry. My last jewelry pieces are two pairs of earrings. The first pair of earrings are silver with little dangling chains and pendants on the bottom. These are a little bit smaller than I thought they would be. However, I still really like them and I know I will get a lot of wear out of them. Lastly, in my accessory category, we have these black and red earrings, which were actually gifted to me by the lady that sold me the red and black belt, which I thought was very sweet of her. I'm pretty sure I will wear these quite a bit because I do wear a lot of black and red, especially together, so I'm sure I will get quite a bit of wear out of these as well. I only have one pair of shoes for my shoe category. They are these white strappy sandals from the brand Impo. For some reason, over the years, I have neglected to invest in sandals. However, since moving to a warmer climate, I realized that it would be a necessity to invest in some more summer clothes and summer shoes. So I thought I would try out these sandals and I am absolutely amazed by them. I want them in every color. They are fantastic. They fit well. They are extremely comfortable. If you are a fellow vintage lady that is looking for an affordable pair of very retro styled sandals, I highly recommend purchasing these. Now we are moving on to my miscellaneous category and the first item in this category is 
a cream colored velvet throw pillow. Pretty much every vintage person I know has a pillow like this or has this exact pillow. I had wanted one for a long time previously, but this kept on popping up in every one of my vintage friends' feeds. So I thought it's high time that I pick one up for myself as well. The next item in my miscellaneous category I found in an antique thrift store combination shop. It is a book called The Lost Files of Nancy Drew. I am an avid Nancy Drew fan and collector, so when I saw this, my eyes immediately lit up. I was so excited and knew I had to get it. It's a mix between a scrapbook and a pop-up book. Each page is dedicated to one of the original Nancy Drew mysteries and the whole page is set up sort of in scrapbook form with journal entries and little things that can pop out and open in connection to the mystery that was featured in the book. If you would like me to make a walkthrough video where I film all of the pages and what they do, I would be more than happy to do so. My last item in this haul is definitely unique, and it definitely belongs in the miscellaneous category. It is a brass nautical compass. Now this was a gift from my dad. He found it in an antique store and he thought that I would like it and he was correct. This compass is from Stanley of London, which apparently is a quite reputable compass making company. You might ask yourself, what would a girl in her 20s want with a giant brass nautical compass? Well, there are several things that I can do with this compass. First of all, I can use it in videos. It would make a great prop for any adventure or noir-inspired videos that I want to make in the future. Secondly, at some point in time, I would like to have a house with a adventure-styled den or living room. So lots of maps, globes, zeppelin, figurines hanging from the ceilings, old airplanes, and of course, compasses. So this will go great with my adventure-themed den or living room. And then, finally, I would just like to use it as a compass. I have always been fascinated with compasses. I had one when I was a child, and I would do puzzles and play games involving the compass. And most of all, it will just be a sweet gift that will remind me of my very sweet dad who purchased it for me. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. If you would like to financially support me and my work, you can give a donation through my coffee page, which is linked in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching.